In this video, I'll provide you with instruction on creating a credit memo that's allowing you to refund an order. The first step is you would want to invoice your order and allow the time period some payment processors require. For example, Authors.net, I believe, requires 24 hours before an order can be refunded. So the first step is once you're ready to refund an order, you go to Sales, Orders locate the order you want to refund and then go to invoices click on the invoice and select credit memo now you will select the items to refund in this case there's only one item in the order so you will update the quantity as desired let's assume you have more than one items here you would set the items that you are not up refunding to zero and then you would click update quantities as you can see in this case I'm not refunding this order you I'm not refunding for the product you can use credit memos to refund just the shipping amount you can adjust an adjustment of the funds paid, let's say they overpaid, they were supposed to have a discount, you would adjust it here under adjustment refund or under the shipping if you want to not refund the shipping. So in this case, let's assume I want to return refund for this item. Update the quantity. You can specify to return the item to stock or not. and then if you don't want to refund shipping you would change this value or leave it if you are refunding your shipping an adjustment fee let's assume you charge a 10 percent restocking fee you can specify that amount here how much uh, in this case whatever two dollars restocking fee so you add that in the adjustment and all of this will update once you click refund so as you can see this is the amount that's being charged this was the gift wrap being charged the tax, the grand total once you are ready, you can then also refund to store credit or refund to the credit card itself. Refund to store credit will require a customer account log for registered uh, customers only. When you're ready, you click refund. And that will create an online refund, triggering the payment gateway to issue the refund. If you do offline, it does not trigger the payment gateway. And this can be done for offline refunds if you've already refunded from your payment gateway, but need a record of it in Magento. That is the steps for creating a refund via the credit memo.